We're sitting here in the Mayan ruins here in, in Honduras, and uh, it's an amazing place because um, I identify with what, what we see here, the construction that they were able to do hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And, um, you know, me being in construction, I could uh, really appreciate the workmanship and what they've done. It's phenomenal, the techniques and the way they did things that actually are not a whole lot different from the way we do things today. We're here in Honduras because you know, this is where uh, my heart is, my passion's down here in Honduras. I'm a part of an organization where we're feeding kids and, and, and uh, furthering education. We're, we're allowing kids to be kids down here. What's interesting to me is I got involved in this on a, on, on a whim through, a, through an email, third party email that I, I kind of tracked down, called a guy, introduced myself, flew down here and, and came into this project. And, and it's kind of the same way I got involved in, in, in Mana B. It was just kind of like an accidental thing. A guy recommended me to another guy who recommended me for a job who didn't want to pay me until he shared the juice with me. So I kind of fell into both situations and, and, and I kind of see the parallel in them to where in what we're doing here in Honduras is we're, we're taking people that, that have no hope and we're giving them hope. Right now we're in uh, we're in Hapan. This is a little community that was uh, founded after the hurricane. Uh, hurricane Mitch came through here last about ten years ago. We built a dormitory to uh, house house uh, street kids that were living on the streets. We got down in there and we'd get up at 4:30 in the morning, go out on the streets, and the kids were by the thousands sleeping in the streets. We've built 20 homes down there for people that were living on the dirt with a tarp over their heads, you know. Um, we've put in a water purification system to where everybody in that community can come get clean water. Well, where we're sitting in is, is, in, um, is the little public school here in, in Hapon, and they um, only had two or three classrooms to begin with, and, and through some donors and through the help of uh, actually, you know, being able to help bless the, the community down here. Being blessed myself, we've been able to put together some money and build some more classrooms and provide these kids with a future with an education. We started in 2000 from, from just giving kids a, a, a glass of milk and a cookie to now we're feeding hundreds of kids every day down there in Honduras. Say, say, Mona V. Yeah! <laughs> the benefits of this business, what it's done for me is tremendous. You know, um, personally, it's like the freedom to just go and do things that you've, you've kind of always would like to do and you never really had the time or the resources to do, you know. And this business is, is going to be such a big instrumental piece to the puzzle to allow me to do more because now when things come up, it's like, you know, I can just write the check, you know, it, it, it's, uh, it's just an answer to prayer, you know, because, you know, you, if you're giving so much, you need to give back, and, and the impact we can make on kids' lives, you know, across the country, across the world, across the water, you know, it, it's, it's really neat to do. Roxana! <laughs> How are you? Mwah. This is uh, my friend, obviously you can tell Roxana. We've really seen a transformation in her life from a, a little girl that was just distraught and hungry and starving and didn't have anything and she's pretty happy now, huh? Sometimes I ask myself why I'm doing what I'm doing, you know, why, why am I down here? I have the wherewithal to just go do anything I want and some people wonder, well, why are you there? Why are you doing in Honduras what you're doing? And, you know, I'm, I'm in my 40s in, in life and, uh, you know, I don't have any kids and I came down here a few years ago and, and I saw these kids with just, with just nothing, you know, and it, and it broke my heart and, and, and I knew that I was called to come down and help and, and then I believe God put this Montevi opportunity in my hands and, and He honors it and I feel like that by me sharing and doing all I can with the, with the rewards that He'll continue to honor it and this thing is just getting bigger and better all the time. Thumbs up. <laughs> the black diamond ring, baby. <laughs> you know, the, the worst thing that happens to anybody that gets in this business is they become more relational. And that can't hurt at all in any aspect of life. So uh, this is just an amazing business, an amazing opportunity, an amazing way to, to make a living. And, and I'm just blessed to be a part of it.
We're sitting here in an ancient stadium. Back in the earliest days of time, they all still had sporting events and everybody always wanted to go and take part in and, and you know, kind of live out their, their dreams through other people. You know, a lot of us are guilty of that. Here, you know, a lot of people will get caught up in like NASCAR or they get caught up in their favorite sports team. And week in, week out, they're, they're living out somebody else's dream. Yeah, we won this week, you know, but what did you really have to do with that? All you did was watch. And you know what it is? It's sad because we, we buy in to, to, to the feeling of someone else's accomplishment and we try to own that. And it just doesn't last. That's why we can't wait for the next game or the next race on TV or the next whatever. You can fill in the blank. What's awesome about this business of Monavie that it can restore your dreams and allow you to achieve your own success, your own dreams, and, and it's more fulfilling than anything anyone else can do for you. You can kind of see why you could fall in love with the children down here knowing that it doesn't take a lot to change a life and help them out. When you're in America, you take a lot for granted. Whereas here, you know, kids don't have water, clean water. They don't have shoes. They don't have clothes. A lot of them don't even have food. And the opportunity to come down here and, and to be able to provide that and make a difference in, in these kids' lives so they can be kids. They can, they can play soccer. They can dance in the streets. They can just have fun. And, you know, it's a right that I think all kids should have. And, and the Monavie opportunity has has given me, you know, so many more resources and, and, and things at my fingertips, you know. I'm, I'm getting contacts and meeting with people and being able to network in the Montevi business with, with people that have the same passion that I have and it's just been tremendous doors have opened through the opportunity. And being a black diamond in Montevi is uh, just, you know, opened so many doors and just set me free to, to be able to, to be a bigger part in all of this. And uh, it's, it's an amazing, amazing thing this Montevi business.